Hey guys, it's Chris here from the Tech Geek channel and welcome back to another video of Windows 10. Today we are going to take a quick look at Windows 10 Mobile Build 10586.11. Stay tuned to find out more. Here we go! Okay, so first off, let me tell you I'm using the Nokia Lumia 625 for this review, quick overview, whatever, and uh, it's a 512 MB RAM device. So let's see how Windows 10 works. Also I want to know how this, um, this wallpaper looks, so comment on that section below and let me know if you have a better option so let's open up the phone and uh, here you are presented with the start screen so let me start off with the bug when you go into the multitasking and uh, see that the start is a blank icon it is just so annoying so that is a bug. Anyways, the next big thing is obviously in front of you. It's personalization. Like completely overhauled. Just so different than Windows 8.1. Let's head into the personalization settings and start. So you can see you can set a full screen picture and you can also change the tile transparency. We'll change it to 100 and see what happens. When you change the transparency, you're presented with the loading screen and tiles are just gone. They're just gone. So let's change it back to 60. Um, come on, 60. So let's go back. And tiles are back. You can also uh, change it to tile picture. So let's change that to tile picture and see how it looks. And it looks pretty good. It looks better than Windows Phone 8.1. And the reason is that the spaces between the tiles and also between this cap is reduced. But I obviously prefer the full screen picture. So, uh, okay, a call just came, I'm sorry guys for that. Anyways, um, this is the lock screen, nothing changed, but anyways, um, you can see the people's tile is changed, so that is changed. You have now circular icons, let's go into the people tab, loading, uh, a bit of loading. And there you have all your icons. It's refreshing continuously. I don't know why, but previously worked well. You can also switch from letters to like Y, and it works pretty well. You can also slide to know what's new. You can also go into groups. For example, let me go to A um, and hit on his icons. You're presented with your accent color at first and then your friends or whatever your contacts icon pops in as a circle so let's close that app the next thing is the camera which is completely destroyed and uh, the reason i said that is because it's so choppy did you see those lines of that there well, it's just so bad anyways the picture quality is a bit reduced than when it was taken with Lumia camera. Look at the laggy animation, it's just so laggy. And when you hit that, you are presented into the Photos app. Photos app is pretty good, except for the zooming part where it takes. See, see that glitch? It takes a bit of time to actually load the picture perfectly. Let's delete that and take another snap. Um, uh, 
only again those lines and also if you go into the pro mode the animations just suck and uh, let's focus there again okay, without focusing let's see how it works so and it took a picture now let's see how that came and uh, see that bug but picture came pretty well with the camera it takes time to actually process the image even with an Adreno 302 GPU and a Snapdragon S4 processor also another thing okay that was a black screen for one second uh, the multitasking is can now also be converted into the landscape mode other changes include the phone app which is pretty good you can see you can scroll speed dial history and dial pad you can also up that down that and the close the app you've also got alarms and clock app and it works pretty well except for that start screen also works pretty well you have got the people tab which i just showed you cortana does not work unfortunately and it actually says welcome back let's pick up where you left up it cannot speak my speech and uh, uh, my speech language so it tells me to go to settings but it's set to english united kingdom even my language is set to that uh, but it still does not work in the india region weather app is a bit new and a bit changed um, loads up um, pretty fast and the image click in within a second yep the image clicked in and also works in landscape you've also got the hamburger menu maps historical weather places and got the settings at the bottom except for that you've got a new file explorer app exactly the same as the PC one You've got the memory card and the browsers and all that and it's pretty good and it really works fast look at the way i'm roughly handling this and it works pretty pretty smooth yep. also got the outlook mail close that um i would still open that also got the outlook mail i don't have a mail i deleted all of them just a minute ago but you've got the slide direction like if you slide to that you can delete slide here you can move and you can also change what the sliding action does you've also got outlook calendar completely changed um this is like all the dates so okay went to december today's date is 29th yep and you can also click on November and expand the month view. Close that. And also, you have got a new photos app, which works not that good. And it's refreshing. And yeah, it's refreshed. I'll delete that one. So. Yeah, the photos app works well other major ch changes include that you can pin the tile to your start screen uh, sorry the settings any settings just any settings to your start screen like I have pin personalization even if I go to personalization and hit on lock screen you can even pin that to start and that is pretty good You've also got your Word, Office apps, they work absolutely fine, like suppose um, you've got new and all that presentations, all that stuff, a lot of stuff, and you can also open up a presentation like this one, this is like the take a tour, welcome to PowerPoint, you can just hit and edit, you can expand, contract, do whatever you like. It works and you can close that 
going to um, close that. Yep. Then the previous browser it also gives you suggestions as you can see and also opens up YouTube. Uh, I don't know what's up. I think my Wi-Fi is not working. Okay, YouTube is there. Yep, YouTube is loaded. Perfectly working. Close edge. And see how fast the thing works. You also got the new Maps app. And rest everything has been shown. You also got the Groove Music, FM Radio, and the Films and TV app. These two apps are a bit changed, but they're almost the same. That's it for the quick review. Stay tuned to find out more features of this build. And also, I will upload that video probably tomorrow. So stay tuned. Hit the like button if you liked the video. And stay tuned for more stuff. Bye-bye.